You're locked into On The Scene. On The Scene. And you're locked into On The Scene. And I tell you what, they took us to the final. Not only just the final, but the first one in 55 years. That's more than any of my family have ever seen before. 55 years. Do you know how many years 55 years is? Yeah, it's 55, bro. My mum was five, bruv. And next up, we got $4 the baby. Yeah, that's what I'm calling him from now on. Where he pulled up on two young kids, hustling on the street, selling sweets, and was ready to purchase the whole box. And then it got techie. Don't let life come at you fast. The baby remember where you came from. And once upon a time, you wasn't the baby, you was the baby. Do you know what? I can't lie, if I was on the streets and I saw an artist I knew, I'm swindling you too, bro. I know you swindled a couple of men on your way up. Wagwan YT, what's popping YT? It's your boy Uncle Lou here, back with a new, brand new episode, season of Hot Desk. I'm joined with... Azariah, hi guys. Lani. Be money, what's up? And today we're going to be talking about a whole bunch of stuff. If she's past the sell-by date, if what's she's... What's the sell-by date? Best before 30? That's crazy. What are you screaming? <laughs> That's crazy. Best before 30? <laughs> I don't know, man. After your 30s, you're done at it. Do you believe that? <laughs> But do you so what, does that secret, like? what, secret, what does expired look like to okay, you? Okay, so it's, I don't think it's really a thing that looks like, if we're, if we're being serious, I don't think it's a, what it looks like. I think it's what it is. But that, no, that's what I mean. I don't mean just aesthetically, but what, how do you imagine an expired 30-year-old? What's their life look like? What does their just, body look like? When you get to a certain age where you start to think about life, I think you're like, what, 15 years off of menopause or 20 years off of menopause where you can't have children anymore and rare tear tear, do you know what I'm saying? But like, you're, you, what about you? We don't have because, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. You also expire the at, at 30. Out. Men and women expire at 30. The cum still there's come a, out. No, it doesn't no, matter. There's, it's a not about there's a misconception sex. that <laughs> men's, do you know, there's a misconception that men's fertility remains higher their whole life. It doesn't. It starts to decline at the same age. The only difference is you decline. have way more, you have way more sperm. We have a limited amount of eggs. We're born with the amount of eggs got we're going to have for our entire more, life. Whereas men, whereas men, is, it's not like that. It's different. Yeah, you can definitely get easy. Um, have kids easier than us for a longer period of time, mm -hmm. but you guys also, you're, you're, you're yeah, you're expiring it, as yeah, you speak. It's it also, decline, so. also, I, my perception of this topic mm -hmm. is to do with what you have achieved in it because you can be a 50 year old, but like you're still popping if you've achieved certain things. As a man, if you haven't achieved certain things by 30, you're, you're done out too. Okay, can I, Where's your I, mortgage? Just, I just want to ask the certain things like more, if what a man ain't got a mortgage at 30, if, 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 according if, to society, if, isn't if, he done out? If you're a high achieving woman in, say, let's say, plus 30s, plus 40s, um, you're still, you, to men, you're still, you're, you're, you're still less desirable. I'm not, sense. I understand that, but then so are you. Well, see, this is, this is, this is what we're talking about. Because what if you look sick? Like, what if you look but sexy? No, it's not, it's not, no, remember, we're having a conversation. You're rich, you look good, you don't beyond, need no man. Beyond the surface level, it's not just about looks. So remember, then how it's do you expire at 30 then? Again, remember the first thing I said, it's about menopause. Like, women at a certain point stop biologically. So it's the closer, though. I didn't say it's first. <laughs> you said, said they expire by 30. 50, so no, I said, again, listen, listen. But for listen a man then, how does it, how do we translate that? Because, okay, wait, how are we talking? Let me just clear up what she, uh, gone. she said. So remember I said 30, 15 years from menopause. So about 45, 50s is when you start going through menopause, right? I think that's where this whole 30 expiring comes from. The older you get and the closer you get to menopause, the more you become less desirable. You can freeze your eggs. You can freeze your eggs. We're, we're in that time, but remember. So what's the problem? But wait, hold on. I don't what? even think that's the point. What this does is it puts, it, you value women at their ability to have children. That's what yes, this is about. Yes, but you can freeze your eggs. Again, where the statement comes from, in my opinion, is that, that's what I'm explaining in my opinion. Where, where people get that notion of you expire at 30 comes from no, I know clock. where it comes from. I was asking you, right. why do you hold that opinion? That's what I was asking. Bro, why do you I'm, believe it to be true? I'm, like, I'm in my 30s and I'm at a place where I think to myself, I'm not in, I'm not, uh, in my prime the way I was in terms of how I aesthetically look oh, or not, how I, I feel. Do you think That's that? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I literally I'm the best realistic. I've ever Wait, but what do we mean by expired? Expired? I keep like, asking this I'm, question. I'm realistic. And I'm, I'm going to look better on May 29th. Okay. I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, for me, I'm at a place where I know that, listen, I don't have the same amount of, like, I'm not as aggressive as I was when I was uh, uh, prime in my prime. I'm not as, as fearless as I was when I was in my prime. And that's what happens with men. You become a bit more 
conscious of certain things, you become more aware of things. Is that not good? Facts. It is good, but you, in, again, in you're the one taking these. Some, it's not all aspects, negative. Yeah. I, I'm, the statement no. is the statement. It's not yeah, necessarily yeah, yeah. a no, negative. No, but I'm just saying to them. That's what I'm getting to because expiration has so many negative connotations. And so I'm asking you, what is it about reaching thirty that makes you feel like people? Can we, expire? Guys, can I just is the question I've been trying to ask you the whole time? Yeah? No. What do we mean by expire at thirty? Because yeah. in what field? Because you're you can. That's you what might, I was trying to get to. My point is, yeah, like you can. We all had that banner that all the buff things really they expired after the secondary school. Like, because if we if we're talk, are you talking about looks and are we talking about attraction from the mm -hmm. opposite sex or people who are looking to are we talking about in terms of courtship? Or are we just talking in terms of natural aesthetics? What are we talking about when we say you expire? Looks wise, it's, it's subjective. Anybody, so there's, we'll, there's so 50 yeah, so what are we talking about? Fucking banging, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I think that that goes without saying. I, for me, anyway, personally, I was saying it from more of a standpoint of how I've come into that. But you're still, you know see, my point is, as a man, are you saying that in your eyes, women expire at 30 because their, their time is ticking for you? Like, what are you talking about when you say right, girl okay, expires so, at 30? So, again, I'm talking about where I think the statements come from. Oh, okay. Me, personally, okay. again, I'm, cl I'm I'm in that realm. Do you get what I'm saying? Too? Even that statement itself, who Do is it coming from? Who's statement? posing it? Partly, yeah. And we're asking you why. We I do. And I'm already explaining that. Like, like biological clock. So no, this is what I'm saying. So you feel like if a, a woman's value is based on her ability to have children, ultimately. Then. And that's why I said partly. I didn't but why say. Do you not... Okay, then what else? Why do you not think it's men expire? Because I think I, oh. I, I can see <laughs> women holding <laughs> I can see how women. No, no, I can you, see you, how women you, expire. You, 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 but you, men do too. No, and we'll get well, to that. What, men... what you two are trying to do is make it black and white. No. No, I'm, not, not. I'm literally I'm, asking like I said, for detail. Okay, and you I was the guy that come in and any. said, listen, if you ain't married as a woman by 30, this is what we used to do when, when I man. first started back chat. If you ain't married... Uh, women. If you and married, a man. <laughs> now, I'm talking about what I said when I first started okay, back chat. Okay, sorry. If you wasn't um, married by 30, then yeah. there was a problem. You need to ask yourself certain questions. I remember <laughs> that's how I first came in. I'm not married. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I know. And I and asked myself be married, then Why are you not well? married? I figured because... I probably would be married. But again, the realities of life and when you grow up, you start to realise that life is real and not everybody gets exactly how they picture and imagine life being. Yes, I do believe there's elements of that statement that are true. Like, you know, you can be expired by 30s, if, especially if you're not elite your okay, character's not good okay. you are actually aesthetically pleasing you are a piece of shit character wise like you, but you, you, then you want you it, uh, especially if you're even a, and you're, you're tart as well I think, like, it, I it's think a wrap. most women get um, if what I've noticed I've, I think most women they've been holding their own they're still sexy at 30 even 35 even 40 the men <laughs> the <laughs> men who are 30 they've let themselves go I think men are more butters at 30. Most I, men. I, I, I'm not I talking about think you. women age before. I'm not talking about you men. specifically. Oh. No, but I'm saying of your of, of the people you know, the mandem and the and the girls, that's when cap. you look at the girls look good and the mandem have fallen off. No, cap. that's cap. The that's girls, why girls just, that's why some of us cap. girls okay, I know you guys do it too, but some of us girls be dating twenty five year olds because they're the ones that look sexy, you lot have fallen off. Wait, hold on, please. Most no, of no, you look expired too. Please, 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 please. Most of you girls you date older guys. Too. What are you talking about? I don't like older men. Most most women date older guys. For 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 bread. For bread. That's I, 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 again, I'm not here to give reasonings as to why women date older guys. I just know they date older okay, guys. Okay, but my statement is men expire too. I know loads of I know loads of men who are 30, 31, 32, 33. They don't look. So then you don't like a bunch of expired men. So men expire too. I do not advocate. This, 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 this is no, what I'm no, saying. No, I agree like, with Lucas because uh, I really do not advocate for women dating older men. It's a fucking scam. They get okay, old. Tell me why. They get crusty, and then we're like, yeah, let's go for older men, and the older men are like, yes, all these ripe young, like sumptuous. <laughs> like nimble young women are ready and I'm just like it's a scam like you're getting scammed you why is it a like, scam do you know what we are, younger women do you are believe in older men so all the younger women are with these older crusty men all these older crusty men got these sexy well, young babes you're, you're exaggerating but okay I'm, Obviously, yeah. I'm, I'm 30 now yeah and as a 30 year old I could date a woman my age. No, I don't think you're old see I'm talking about men in their 50s dating women I, I, like, I hear that but yeah I get that but I'm still talking about like this conversation that you're asking about I can't say a woman expires in their 30 because I'm I'm 30 and 30 is such an odd age because you feel old, but someone's telling you you're a baby still. Yes. So we know what, we can't say that. We yeah, know. But we're right, older right. We're generation. We're not going to go right? to a fresher's but rave, right? We're having, a conversation. we're having a conversation here, yeah? No, but that's not what you mean. Would you, yeah. two questions I'm going to ask you quickly. Would you date a 30 year old? Yeah. Would, Facts. would that be your goal too? My Why goal. Would but first, I'm, 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 I'm saying, answering the question. I'm, I'm about to answer the question. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to answer the question. Because you don't want to date a 30 year old? Why me asking the question automatically? Okay, okay, my answer, yeah, asking. my answer is I will get to that age later. If you still look my age or relatively around my age, whether that's younger or older, if you look like we're in the same, yeah, then it's cool. So then I, we get to the age after. How old so, are you? Oh, so, okay. 
But I would, I, I would I'm getting a sense 30. of it's, it's more about the, the, the look of things, aesthetically how the person looks. Um, if the person looks the part, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, what I was trying to say before you yeah, is that to me, like w most of the time we talk about falling off. For Mandem, yeah, I agree. It's like if you're not moving a certain way, if you're 30, like this is my kind of like chip on my shoulders in terms of masculinity. If you're not moving or patting a certain way at 30, I feel like damn homie in high school he was the man homie, like that 50 cent thing rings off in my head. So I think our expiration, I don't agree that's about looks. I think if anything, if you, if you look after yourself, we're all learning about ourselves. We can afford to buy new products or whether it's skincare. So you tend to look better and it also reflects on your the way you are in life, like, you know, your disposable income, you can afford to get a trim every two weeks. So the fact that you look well-maintained and well-groomed doesn't show signs of expiration. Whereas for women, when we say, or for when I say a girl's falling off, I wouldn't say there's an age on it because some girls mature well into their 20s, well into their 30s. Some women fall off, like some girls who were like, the one that you wouldn't have read your book for in school, the one who was an ace, she's not nice no more. So yeah. who's, everybody, you know, we jump, like we bloom at different points in life. So for me, expiration would be, Oh, remember that girl from uni? Ah, oh, yeah, she fell off. But if she's doing well for herself, men don't care. Like, I don't care if you're an accountant and you're on 60 See, bags. If you drive past me in the Benz, you're still not as nice as you were in college when you were slim and whatever. whatever. Uh, uh, but for men, it's the other way around. When you're doing your, your thing at 30, oh, maybe, he looks nicer, do you know what I mean? Maybe if I, I explain know. it from my, my perspective, but uh -huh. how I view myself. Like, I'm, I'm in my 30s, right? So I'm at a place where I'm starting to think, right, I ain't got no kids. I ain't married. Like, you ain't been in jail. You're heterosexual. Okay. Those are all factors. But my point <laughs> is, I'm, I'm in my 30s. I ain't had kids. I ain't married. Those things are important to me. Those things are what make me feel like... Um, of, um, uh, to be honest, that's what coins being a man to me. Do you know what I'm saying? Being grown, being mature, being responsible, accountable, all those things. So the fact that I'm not even there, I feel like I'm expiring oh darling come no, no, no don't get me wrong <laughs> again this is this is this is this is no, this is Papa. this is the thing where i have full confidence in myself i know i'm the shit rare to tear all the rest of it i i have no new um what's the word i'm looking for i'm not no I'm doubt not, about that yeah i don't yeah. doubt myself mm. but i'm not an idiot to thinking that i'm not getting older but can i I'm ask not, you like sorry i'm not um, i'm not I'm in denial at the fact that if I have a kid to, today, by the time I'm 40, in my 40s, my kid will be 10. But you'll be in a better position to but raise again, that child I, than you would have been 10 years ago. I won't be able to do the things that I like doing or want to do with my kid, like i.e. taking football, play Why football not? with my kid. I'll be a 45-year-old man. Lucas, you if you look after yourself, 45. you can absolutely play football. 45 is young, you know. <sighs> it's it's just about how he feels, let's, though. Let's about if you're playing with a 10-year-old, how good do you actually have to be? And this is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying to you. Let's be realistic with how we see these things. When the older you are, the harder it is for you to do things for your kid, with your kid, because life gets in the way, whatever. And that's why sometimes they always say it's, it's better to have kids when you're younger because you sort of just grow together through it. Do you know what I'm saying? We live in a society now where we're all sort of going to get married in our 30s. Life is I ain't hard, getting like, married, so I hear you, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not getting married. Do you know, like do that, you know what, so though? I, I feel that, like... Yeah. And it depends on what like, marriage is to you as well. Yeah, I feel, I feel like... Uh, do you know what it is? I just don't feel there's a lot of value in feeling like like i don't feel the way you do about getting older do you know what i mean like that maybe that's where maybe that's where the difference i would never compromise maybe that's what feeling like maybe this. that's the difference yeah but that's that's what i'm saying maybe that's different i don't need to feel like that in order to compromise i'm very i'm very aware of i don't know i just would you say you recently blossomed i uh, yeah i have you went into another I've, gear I've, 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 I've literally i'm the best i've ever looked mentally i'm in the best place i've ever been I've like always looked financially good. career wise i'm in the best place <laughs> like, I've, I've always felt like i look good <laughs> but no but listen but you blossom you can but, level but, up but what i'm saying is like i've never been ugly like it's not possible but what i'm saying is <laughs> is that it's not and i don't about... pay too mind on that like, too much mind on well, that. women are yeah different. but I, I've, I've just said a whole list of things yeah, i haven't just yeah. said what i look like i talk i spoke about my mental health i spoke about my career i spoke about my ability to like have romantic relationships how much of like i am the best i've ever been in all aspects of my life right now and um, for me I'm not I'm not I'm not declining yet I'm a hundred percent not declining yet so if you believe that you're declining and like what is the value in believing that there is an expiration date anyway? Are you anyway? leveling up or Pardon? do you reckon you're still ascending? Um, I reckon I've still got a bit to go I reckon I've still got a bit to go I and I just don't see the value in feeling like you expire ever you get older you have phases things change but this idea of like ex like I'm not declining at 60 I don't want to go out and get lit like my body 
doesn't allow it because I'm not meant to be doing it at 16. Well, like, if you feel good, you look good, No, why but that's not? what I'm saying. I'm talking about me. But that's what I'm saying. So either are you expiring or not? Because now you're saying no, it doesn't so matter. But that's what I'm saying. Why? So why say you expire then? What's the point? In having that, I gave, I gave you the reasons why, I, and that's why I use myself. I gave you the reasons why I feel like that. Expiring doesn't necessarily... I think this is where we're getting it twisted with what I'm saying. I think the way we look at the word expiring is... It's not about how you look at it. So right. It's a de it's literal definition. Me, I think, okay, for, for you get okay. We get. I get what you're saying. I get what I you're saying. Yeah. But my, my, just, my, I just the don't way, see the way. Why is it expiring? Because expiring is it's diminishing. Word. The whole reason why we had this whole debate is with the word expiring. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so then we my have point to look is, at what it means. My point is, for me personally, right? I look at it can myself I, as expiring, not because I think I've expired or because I don't value myself or I think I'm declining. I just think I'm growing up. I think. The expiring to me is about your children and family and what you can give to that. Why does that mean that? No, but guys, that's I can't even get that. The, the ex expiry come to the end of a period of validity, so you're no longer valid. Me, no, but can, 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 I, let me, can I just say something? Can I just, me, let me I'm just... from a different culture to you lot. Bro, that's cool. Can I just say something to you personal, lot? So the way you lot see it is different. That's cool, but I want to tell you how I see it as well. Go on. I can understand where it's coming from because I just thought of an example. Yeah, I think this is very, very, very personal. I don't think someone can tell you you're expired. No one can tell you you're expired. Yeah. It's, it's you to feel it inside. Because, okay, when I watch Real Housewives, yeah, a lot of them, average age is like 45, 50, innit? And they're baddies. A lot of people watch them and think, oh my God, they're great. But a lot of them are single women. And I think even though we look at them and they've got money and they're on TV and stuff, like really and truly they cry about being single and feeling expired i think it's personal it depends on what's important to okay, you okay but you know what do you know so what you know, i totally get what everyone's saying to you i totally success, get what everyone's saying but this is not and they're paying they actually live. this is the thing i get this this is this is the one i'm disputing this is me this is me trying to explain that language matters there's a reason why slurs exist there's a reason why profanity exists words mean things and until we start changing our language we're going to say something and whether you like it or not they have certain connotations when you tell a person they expire regardless of how you perceive that in your mind that is an insult to people because yeah, expiry insult. literally means you are not good anymore. You yeah. are not fit for purpose. You are yeah. invalid. You don't work the way you're meant to. So even I get, I totally get what you're saying. But what I'm saying is then what is the value in using that language? Why say expired? We know that it's not a good thing. So why would we even then use that language to define yeah. our stages in life? It's a bit harsh, but it's just the way it's just the way people feel about themselves if they haven't achieved certain things at a certain age. If they don't have kids, he's completely right. People feel like this all the time. If we don't have kids, if I don't have kids, we, we live yeah, in a, yeah, we, yeah. everything that you know have said from what I've heard out. has been very materialistic. It's been about money, what they look like, rare, rare, rare. I, that to me doesn't you didn't equate say not to. Everything I said then. From, 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 what, from again, from what I've heard, it's like I can say I the same thing. I just said mental health. I could say the same thing with regards to what I'm saying. I could say you've ignored everything I've said with regards to expiring. To me, doesn't necessarily mean the negative connotation that you know you're placing on it. For me, it's about family. Kids. Yeah, but we're talking about what the definition of the word is. Are you cool? Wait, hold on, Lucas. Chill not... for two seconds. Hold on. You've said it to you, but we're talking about it to everyone else. To you, that's not what expire means. But okay, now we're not exploring what other people think about the word expire. And more time, most people see expire to have a negative connotation because it does. Expire is up there with falling off. It died off. It's dead now. No one cares. <laughs> it's expired. So cool. We get it. Like it's just like when man, I'm saying, ah, oh, Joker. This person call you a joker and this person call you a joker, two different connotations, even though we have a definitive definition of what the word means. So to expire means for something to become invalid. Now, cool, we got your understanding, but as Zara is saying, like, we shouldn't, we should be careful what words we use to say yeah. stuff because yeah. some people are going to take it quite literally. I might feel that way about something. The point is, yeah, I think most young people, women and men, we actually blossom in our 30s. It's not that we expire, but I think it's like we transition. And technically, we expire in a certain generation. So when you get to 30, and I, the easiest thing I can use as, and as, an, as an example is when you turn up to a party and there's a bunch of 21-year-olds, you feel 30. You, you, you've you expired from that. Mm -hmm. If you were to go to uni now to do a course, you won't stay in halls and For do freshers. freshers. <laughs> you won't go freshers because you'll be like, nah, I'm more mature than that. So yeah, it, we can say expire, or we could just be like, oh, we transition to the next phase of life. If you went raving today, especially after lockdown, and you're with like under 25s, you'd be like, it's not the same. No, do you know what I mean? No. So like we transition, and so we've expired in that film, or we've graduated if you wish. So like I see a lot of girls now, then probably like a 30 year old woman is someone who you probably wanna, let's just talk about in terms of the opposite sex, cause that's easier for me. Like. I could look, a, a woman my age, I'm going to take more, I would like to think I would take more seriously. Obviously, I still want to have fun, but if I was looking to settle down, I would prefer it if that woman was 
my Same age, stage, and it? maybe maybe just a year older or younger, like my age, just because so w- we'll we're most likely be on the same page. Whereas me dating a twenty-five year old, she's not ready. She hasn't expired in her club yet. She needs to. It's it's also like twenty-three down to like um, culture as well. I think. But they're twenty-two years. The, re- the, the reason why I say that for because because you, two other twenty-three-year-olds. I, I was just about to explain. The reason why I say that is because with with like being saying, Nigerian, being in Europe, man, like a lot of. Growing up in that culture, anyway, a lot of men and women tended to get to get with people that were older than them. So, like, the men got with younger women, the women got with older men, and it was an it was a thing that it was viewed the 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 man that got with a younger woman they were similar in age mm. in terms of mentality. Yeah, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. To you? Because they found that the woman matured more. They had to. Yeah, they were. They were. Was, 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 yeah. So, when again, I agree with you guys. Terminologies, whatever. <laughs> when explaining things. For me, again, because of the cultural understanding that I have of the word of, you know, using the word like expired, it, from, from our culture, it comes, right, once you hit a certain age, especially when I was younger, once you hit a certain age, you have expired because, again, your biological clock, it's about kids, it's about marriage, all the rest of it. We live in society now. More people, are from, especially from our generations, are going to get married in their 30s because it's more expensive. You can't afford to just be with somebody. We're more exposed. We have options, all the rest of it. So I get it. I'm just saying to you that, you know, expiry still slightly has its place. Like for me, even as a woman, <laughs> like even, no, big man thing, even as a woman, all things considered, I do realise in terms of like my literal biological ability to reproduce, I am starting to, I'm, 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 I'm on my way to expiry. I'm I totally actually shook. That, like, but I can't let that define how I view my whole self. Like there's so much more to me. Well, you there, so, you, that, so, so in that sense, in, in, in regards I'm, to that part of your life, which is, I mean, it's whatever emphasis you place on it, just one part of your life, yeah, you're you're getting older, you can't do that. Yeah, but, the egg, but that's the eggs everyone. are like literally like. But as a whole, as a whole, you're old not dad. expiring. Just, you know there's just mean? too much to you're a just person changing, I think, yeah. to just define it. I wanna. I, but I don't wanna be an old dad. There's so much happening in the world. Our world is changing rapidly. Like we've had COVID. The world. Yeah, no. COVID. <laughs> 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 that's how my girl says it. She listen, you guys like. Oh, oh, COVID. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's it's the world is rapidly changing. So much things are happening. I don't even know, wh- I, I might not be here five years from now, I don't have a kid, but this is how I, I might not be here five years from now, I don't have a kid, I don't have no legacy, I don't have no one to continue my name, so when I use the word expiring, that, that's what it kind of relates to, to me, you know what I'm saying, in, in that sense, that's how my brain is thinking, like, right, yeah, I'm late, I'm this, I'm that, I'm, I have full vim in myself, but realistic, boom, you're knocking on a bit. I, 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 Men are getting younger as well that are also lit. There's, I, there's I relate with what you're saying because like 26s, 25s that you know, are top boys. I feel like boys. everyone feels like you know that. Yeah, yeah, we're all going to be top boys yeah, forever. Yeah, Do you know what it is? You know what I feel like everyone feels like that when they age. Like I felt like that at a point and I said, I'm not doing this. I'm not looking, I'm not, I'm not sitting here and feeling like, oh, aspiring times around that. That is not helpful or constructive for me personally. Mm. And so though I have had those thoughts and I decided that I wasn't going to have those thoughts anymore because they're not, they're not productive to me. Like what do they, they don't drive me forward. They don't push me that's not that that's not the energy that motivates me so i, I had to reframe you know, the way i perceived myself aging it, it motivates yeah, but me i can't do that yeah i can't it, it it mo- i saw, your, I saw your caption i can't still can't do it it actually motivates me the, in in the reverse to what you're saying in the sense yeah that, and that's cool like because i'm 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 actually quite reckless and careless i, I can be very f- like i go over the floor free flip free for all so things like that sort of keep me in check. Like, yo, you're old, bro. Like, you're knocking on. <laughs> like, you need to pattern. You need to start thinking about yeah. getting a missus. You need to start having kids. Like, like I said, I want to take my kid to the park and play football with him. I'm, I'm, I, I, like, I think I'm an avid footballer myself. Right, can I tell you? Know, like, I, 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 I can't I, kick a ball with you. Like, how can I teach him certain things? You can still kick a ball with him, bro. But listen to this, yeah. Like, my <laughs> thing is, like, this is how I can relate <laughs> to what you're saying, but not the same way. Like, for me, my expiration issue is more like I feel like oh I'm turning 30 and I'm still not where I want to be I'm not established so I don't feel like I've been expiring but I've, there's a part of me that feels like I'm falling off I know you're talking a lot about the family aspect that's not something that's on my calendar because like my thing is but it relates to what you're saying because I feel like a lot of men um, I think where women and I'm not trying to be sexist I know women put more emphasis on how they look and no, that's feel sexist. I'm joking. I feel that, <laughs> I, that's how I feel I feel women do good. that men feel like yo I need to pattern so because society society still tells us that we have to be providers. So like I'm thinking, bro, I'm 30. And especially now where I'm seeing youngers pulling up in like, they're driving <laughs> Montclair, VVS, bus down road. They scare me, you know? Yeah, but all these youngers are doing it. Even like the boys, like even the ones that wear night tech tracks, I say that's a hundred pound 
whatever, they might have more disposable income. I'm thinking I'm 30, I'm still, I still haven't achieved the financial freedom that will put me in a position. I like what City Girls are talking about. Yeah, I, I ice you out. I want to ice you out. But I feel like, damn, at 30, I ain't even ice myself out. That's where I feel like I've fallen off in times, but not so, it's not so much that I've fallen off. I haven't caught on to where I want to be. So I always feel like I'm behind on my clock because let's say I do achieve the Roly and Ferrari and the dreams that I have. Yeah. I don't want that at 65. I, my reaction time has slowed down. I can't be in the club with my, I can't put, dip my ice in the bucket. Like, I, you know I, think, I, think it's, I think you can't ignore, you see the things that go on in your head. You can't completely ignore them. Sorry to talk about celebrities again, but um, one of my favorite shows is Sex and the City and Kim Cattrall, she obviously she's been in Sex and City, so she's friggin' rich as F. She's a millionaire and all that. But her prime of her career, she was in her forties or fifties. Mm, yeah. That was when the show was on, and when the show ended, like obviously she had menopause in it, so she never got to have a kid. And she always she okay now she tries to blame the show, but really she should blame herself. But now she blames the show, and she, the reason she won't come back and do other seasons, the reason she's vexed and she's always beefing online, is because she's so angry that she never had a kid. So like you are right. You can't really ignore the voice. You have to. No, think, you absolutely can't. Yeah, you like, can't. I actually, if I, if you want something and you know, like, Ra, I'm getting on, like, yeah, like. Do you know what? Yeah, it's not about ignoring the voice. Yeah. It's just about whether that voice is positive or negative. Yeah. That's what I meant. You don't have to and, ignore it. And, I just and, have to reframe that voice for you, myself. You said something just now that even yeah. made me think, yeah. Bro, I've, I've been a young boy. I've been in my prime. I've done certain things. So, like you said, there's young boys now. I've got young boys. They've got APs, bust downs chains 50 racks they've got though those things do not appeal to men mm. no more i'm not a young boy mm. do you get what i'm saying to you so i'm in a different place in my life i like the, so let me ask you this quickly like the, the, the material stuff and the, i'm all i'm going that's that's it, i don't think about that not happening oh i still want to bust down roadie because <laughs> I don't want to grow. But, I don't even know you're telling me but right this, now. But this is what I'm saying. Bro, trying to ball out, nigga. Bro, 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 trying to shine, bro. nigga. Shine on these holes, nigga. I was born, born. Bottles. So, 1942. I, 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 I still want it too. I still want it too. I'm sorry. I get it. I get it. I still want it too. I get it. I'm in a different place to you, like, bro. Like, you're not in a different place to you. Why can't you have both? I'm in the same place. I can't shine whilst I'm doing what you're doing. Bro, I can't. I can't. I'm not going to lie to you. That's not shining. Yeah. To you. Bottles in a rate, uh, bro. It's not. I, I've been there. It's no, not. but to you, it wasn't. It, but because I've done it. When so you, speak I, for I, I, you. I, I, I can, I to can, me, I'm gonna be shining when I do I, it. I'm even helping you. I'm even speaking for you. I know for a fact, you do it. After you do it, it's not going to be that for you no more. Cause you've done it. He just wants to do you do understand? It, he just want to pick. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But wait, what are you talking about? I haven't. I think had you're a Ferrari. putting too much emphasis on what I'm saying as opposed to what I am saying. You, what I'm saying is, I still want it. You want to focus on being successful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'm saying. And naturally, success is my focus. Naturally, I don't. Oh yeah, I need to bottles, rolly. All no, but that. that's naturally, not success. That's that not success. That is you're mixing. Is. You're mixing the banter with the. Yeah, he was saying. Oh, so you're banter. No, no. Oh, success banter, is no, one thing, enjoying, and enjoying, enjoying, the enjoying the success is another thing. Bad. But you're focusing okay. on the enjoyment right, of the okay. success. What I'm saying is, I would love to be. I would financially free. Whether you're that's, be able to indulge yeah, like whether, that. whether it's yeah. buying a house or whatever, like whatever you guys want to talk about, cryptocurrency, whatever. Seen as being a mature adult, I also want to be able to splash out whilst I'm doing it. I want to be able to. If I have children, I want to wear whatever drip my children are wearing. I don't want to be a dad who has to wear Asics yeah. or whatever or Lonsdale to provide a better future for their kids. <laughs> Daddy want to ball out too, nigga. And if that makes me immature Preach. or whatever or not, I'm man, I hear it. Too. But I want to shine. I want to shine all my fucking life, yeah. All my life. Wait, mom, hold on, the average, mom, the average my Rolex car. owner doesn't own a Rolex until they're in their 60s. So clearly they're doing something right. It's deferred my gratification. First one at That's you. You're not the but average again, Rolex I'm not, owner. I, again, I can't talk for people like that. The, the normal people the are average around, Rolex owner. They're not average to me, in my are we uh, people <laughs> around me. Majority <laughs> of my bedrooms have owned Rolex from when they were but, in okay, their 20s. Okay, that's the other thing I wanted to ask you. That's cool. That's cool. I wanted to ask you something else, yeah? You said you've been in your prime. Mm-hmm. How? You've Early twenties. What does prime look you? like? What so, why I say prime, right? I mean, I'm talking alpha male when you're in your prime, where <laughs> you're, when you're, where you're. Where so, you're, Lucas, did you again, you really? Uh, I think a lot of you are trying to like. No, go on. I'm trying to hear what you're saying. Right? The reality of it is, when you're in your early twenties, before you get towards the late end of your twenties. You're, you have a fearlessness. You have a little bit more vim about you that makes you go for things in life. The older you get, the more you come down from that. You start to, this, you start to sort of be more aware of things. Yeah, for example, I'll tell you this now. When I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm, I'm, have you seen from, me? From, have you met me? From a man's perspective, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm quite a, 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 a... That's why I said I'm, I'm still a man. Right? So, 
I was quite aggressive, right, when I was younger. Yeah. Now, I'm not as aggressive, why right? I think about things more. Mm. I, I, I'm, I, I didn't care about, you know, getting into a situation and I might get stabbed up or shot or whatever when I was younger. Now, like, like we've just been talking, I ain't had kids, right? Like, if I go and put myself in these situations, I ain't even got no one to continue my legacy. I ain't got no one to continue what I, what I deem as valuable. You ain't been in your prime yet, Do you understand? Bro. That's no, why I, I say have. prime. Do you know what I'm saying? Your prime's still coming, baby. You ain't been baby. in your prime yet, bro. Yeah. Why is I, I, your prime, though? That's the... I your prime is still coming. I'm not saying you're reading too much into the word prime, then. But that's what we're talking about. Your prime is... You are doing the same thing. You're talking about the word prime. You're the peak of your life. Bro, okay, listen, let's wrap this up, man. But look, at the end of the day, I get some parts If you don't get it, you don't get it. But I literally just said, I get it. you get it, you get it. I understand parts what you're saying. But I think, I think, I think... That if we're talking about 30s and prime, I think your prime years are defined by the individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. we're all going to come into ourselves. And then what we emphasize and what we place value on and the stuff that we see as our prime, yeah. again, it also differs for everyone. So everyone just needs to live life at their pace. At their pace. Absolutely. You know about living what do you mean? <laughs> uh, you can have it all. I just want to add that to you. You can have it all. You can pick up your child in a Bentley truck. Amen. All right? Or a Ferrari. A and Bentley, that is what we're going to do every week, baby. With your, me, With your bus down. With your bus down.